every bit as intense and amazing as any other sport except for the fact that you can be as insane as you want. It is in Australia, it, it's died out recently because it's become a bit childish and it's become a bit cartoonish. It actually isn't. In Australia, you've got football and cricket. They are the gods of sport. If you do anything else, you are looked down upon, you are reviled by the general community. In America, wrestling is very strong partially because it came from all the Europe countries. It originated with catches catch can wrestling, just like the Olympic wrestling, those kind of things. Part of it is actually opening people's eyes to the fact that wrestling does exist in Australia. Everyone sits there. When you mention the word wrestling, they think either 10-year-old, skinny, untrained little kids just wrestling on a trampoline in their backyard, or they think the WWE. Anything apart from that does not exist. Now, there's plenty of wrestling in Australia. In WA alone, there's four different companies and many others in all the other states, but no one, no one knows about it because no one advertises. Wrestling is one of those things that people will always enjoy and always love and there's always someone who, who likes that and you know, at NH we're actually, you know, one of those, it, one of the things we're doing is bringing it back, you know, we get more people at shows. Artistry really complements the technique. Um, you get them in because they're interested in the storyline. It's, it's, I've always referred to it as mouse soap opera. It's one of those things where once you get someone hooked, they they won't stop watching. They will compulsively keep going because they have to find out what happens to people. And some of the best actors I've ever seen are wrestlers. Once you've got bitten by wrestling as a fan, as a wrestler, as a fucking referee, you just want to keep doing it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. It's an adrenaline rush like anything else. Yeah!